So today in this video, I'm going to introduce the Bright Data MCP server. And now, as you might already know, MCP or Model Context Protocol is now the buzzword in the AI space or industry, mainly because it allows you to turbocharge or let's say add superpowers to AI models and LLMs out there. So basically, MCP servers allows AI models to communicate with external tools and services to do more things on its own for you on behalf of you. So that's how interesting this whole MCP thing is, right? And now Bright Data has come ahead and launched their own MCP server. And for starters, Bright Data is a proxy infrastructure and a web scraping platform that allows you to do web scraping at scale. So normally, if you were to, let's say, do some web scraping, after a few attempts itself, the website or the platform will block you out and you will be no longer allowed to access the resources on that particular website. Well, if you use Bright Data Proxy or let's say their web scraping tools, you'll never be blocked out of their platform and you can send thousands or hundreds of thousands of requests and you can still be able to access all their resources. And now the cooler thing is, Bright Data has went ahead and launched their own MCP server, meaning that you can now perform all these web scraping and proxy related stuff directly within a MCP client like let's say Cloud Desktop or Cursor and not just them, you can even use them on workflow automation tools like let's say make.com or na10 and today in this video i'll show you how you can use the bright data mcp server in combination with other mcp servers to get things done i mean let me show you what i'm talking about today so this writer is bright data and the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below head over to brightdata.com and sign up for a new account and as you can see it says limitless web data infrastructure for ai and bi so discover, access, extract, and interact with any public website. So you can get structured, reliable, real-time, and historical data at whatever scale that you want. So that is the cool thing about Bright Data. So you might have already got a basic understanding exactly as to how this works and what are the use cases. And now the first thing, go ahead and sign up for a new account and then go ahead and log into the same. And now once you're logged in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see. And towards the left side, you can find a couple of these options like proxies and scraping, web scrapers, web data set, bright shield, and all these tools. And now in this video, we are specifically interested in the bright data MCP server and how you can use the same to scrape content on the internet directly within a MCP client. And for that, the first thing that you got to do is to create a new web unlocker proxy zone and doing so is pretty simple. Here I have already created one. Just go ahead and click on this add button right here and select web unlocker API and I can click on that one and all you need to do is to give it a name and next step make sure to enable this captcha solver option so this means if uh, let's say bright data bot is trying to access a website and if the bot is presented with a captcha the bright data platform is able to solve the captcha and get past it that is how powerful it is and now these are all the information that you'll have to give and go ahead and click on this add button and now here I have already added one so let me show you so this one right here and now once you add it, this is going to be the kind of interface that you'll see and you can find the usage overview, all these metrics, even logs, etc, etc. Okay. And now the thing that you got to note down is this API token right here. And now once you have the API token, the next thing that you got to do is to click the second or third link in the description below and you land on this page right here, which is the official Bright Data MCP GitHub repo page. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to find this snippet of code or you can also head over to this blog post right here and get the same code and now that we have already created this uh, zone that is this web unlocker mcp that i created in this case and we also have this api token this is all that you need and next step to access and use this mcp server you will obviously need a mcp client and you can use pretty much any mcp client of choice for example cloud desktop or cursor and for this video i'm planning to use cloud desktop if you want to you can also use cursor or any other workflow automation platforms out there and if you want to let's say download cloud all you need to do is to head over to cloud.ai slash download or click the first link in the description below and you can go ahead and download the same for Mac OS, Windows and install the same. And now here I have already downloaded and installed cloud on my computer. So once I install cloud to add the MCP server, all I need to do is to click on this cloud option and click on settings. And this will now open the settings option or page. And now I'll move over to the developer tab right here. And here I can click on this button that says edit config. And now it will open up this cloud desktop config.json file. And all I need to do is to open that in a code editor, like let's say cursor, WinSurf, or VS Code. Basically, you need to add all these entries in here. And now, if this is your first time, 
you won't really find anything in here all of this will be deleted i mean you will find a blank file in here right or let's say a blank code and now to add the bright data mcp server all i need to do is to copy this code snippet just like that so i can copy this code snippet or you can find that in the blog page or even i'll make sure to leave the same in the description of this video and now i'll open the same file that is cloud desktop config.json and i'll paste the same in here and next up you need to replace this api token and web unlocker zone first of all i'll go ahead and copy the api token for that i'll head back to bright data and here we have the api token or if you want to you can go to account settings and now find the same in this section right here that is api tokens and now i can go ahead and copy the token just like that head back and paste the same in here so that part is done and next up we need to get the web unlocker zone so here we have already created a zone and it is called as web unlocker mcp so you need to copy the exact name as it is without any mistake and just paste it in here okay just like that and believe it or not that's all that you gotta do right now we have went ahead and added the bright data mcp server into our mcp client that is cloud desktop and now all i need to do is to save this file right here and now here i have restarted cloud desktop and if i now click on this button right here i'll be able to see an option that says bright data and as you can see they have like 21 tools right within this one and if i click on this one i should be able to see all these mcp tools so they have something called as search engine scrapers markdown scrapers html session stats web data amazon product linkedin person company instagram reels post I mean they have a wide variety of them right you can even go ahead and scrape let's say zillow property listing as well so that is how powerful this is and now the thing is pretty simple now that we have added the bright data mcp server i can go ahead and ask the ai to do things and the ai will do it for me and now for specifically in this video i'm planning to use it for a different purpose so let's say i'm a person into seo and i'm i write blog post and i write and publish blog post on my website and now I want to make sure that the blog post titles of my website is 100% SEO optimized. And for that, obviously, what I'll need to do is to, let's say, go ahead and search for the same on Google. So let's say I'm creating or let's say writing a blog post on the topic, how to start a blog. So I can go ahead and search for the same on Google. And here, as you can see, I can find all these top ranking pages. And now I want to create a blog post title similar to this one, but even better. And now what I want to do is, I want the AI to go through all these top ranking pages. Basically, I want the AI to go ahead and open Google, search for the topic or let's say the main keyword of my blog post idea and go through the blog title or let's say the page title for the top 10 ranking pages, extract those and then use AI to process it and create even better version and suggest like five versions that I could use. So this is basically the plan and this is what I'm planning to let's say accomplish using the MCP server. And for this, I need a combination of two MCP tools, obviously. So the first one is Bright Data MCP server. So Bright Data can go ahead and open Google search for the keyword, extract the titles and give it to me. And now I can use yet another MCP tool to go through all these titles that are top ranking on Google and then create an even better version and suggest like, let's say five variation for the same. So this is basically what I'm trying to accomplish. And now just as to give you a demo as to how this Bright Data MCP server work, I can go ahead and give a query something like this and it says can you search google for the keyword how to start a blog and retrieve the title of the top 10 ranking pages okay and now i can go ahead and hit enter and now the bright data mcp server will go ahead and open google.com search for the keyword and retrieve the urls of the top ranking pages and retrieve the title of the top 10 ranking pages and list the same in here so i can simply go ahead and send the message as you can see the query is how to start a blog and search engine is google and now it is processing the request and we will wait till it is done all right so there you go based on the search results here are the top 10 ranking pages for how to start a blog see so the bright data mcp server used the search engine mcp tool went ahead and searched for the same keyword on google and is now listing all these details in here okay so that is how simple and powerful it is i did not have to go through any complex process or anything as such i was able to use the mcp server and the bright data mcp tools did all this for me okay that's how simple it is and next up i have actually created yet another mcp server using data button which will actually take some input let's say title inspiration as input and then process it and use ai to write even better titles and give me like five or ten variations of the same 
So I have already created that MCP server myself using data button. And now this writer is data button. And as you can see, I've already created a MCP server, configured it. And just in case, if you're wondering how to create custom MCP servers, I've already created a video about the same. If you want to, you can watch that by clicking the I button above or link in description below. So basically I have created this MCP server and the process is pretty much similar, like configuring the bright data MCP server. All I need to do is to copy this code snippet copy this API code from here, paste it in here and add it in the config file. So I'll go ahead and open cloud, then head back to settings. There you go, developer. And now I can click on edit config and open this JSON file right here. And now all I need to do is to paste the second MCP server details in here. And just in case you're wondering, you can use multiple MCP servers within a client. And for that, all you need to do is to separate them and add them separately. So here we have the bright data MCP server. Then here we have data button. And if you have a different one, you can then go ahead and put a comma and add the same in here. Okay. And now that we have added the data button, uh, MCP server that I created, I can go ahead and save the same, close this one. Okay. Close all this. And now I need to restart cloud desktop. So here I have opened up cloud desktop and this time around, if I click on this button right here, I'll be able to find the, both the bright data MCP server and also the custom MCP server that we created. So if I click on this one, we have two of them that is check health and also generate titles. And this is the MCP server that I created. And here I have opened up that thread where we use bright data MCP server to retrieve all these titles. And next up, I can go ahead and ask, can you suggest even better titles optimized for SEO by analyzing the titles you gave in the previous response and now I can go ahead and hit enter. So as you can see, Cloud Desktop is automatically using the generate titles MCP server that we created and it has automatically taken all these titles that it has suggested in the previous response and passed that as input to the title generator MCP server that we created. And now it has given all that. And as you can see, the title generator MCP server that we created is now suggesting us all these blog posts that works. And now it also says why it works. So if for the first one, it includes current year, complete guide, signals, comprehensive content, and step-by-step -step promises, clear instructions. And as you can see, here we have around 10 different blog post ideas. How easy, right? So the thing is we went ahead and first used the bright data MCP server to scrape Google find the title of all these top 10 ranking pages and then we extracted the same and then went ahead and I gave another prompt asking the AI to let's say go through these titles and create even better versions optimized for SEO and now the AI that is Cloud Desktop automatically pulled the custom MCP server that we created passed all these uh, output from bright data and served it as input to the generate titles MCP server created it and here we have all that okay as easy as that and now this is one of many different use cases where you can use a combination of bright data mcp server and a different one so in this case let's say i'm an seo person and i want to craft really seo optimized blog titles so i can use this one so in your case it could be something different maybe you are working on youtube you want to process youtube videos extract it transcribe it or let's say turn it into a youtube video and then present it to you or scrape content from let's say Amazon or pretty much any other website and process it and do something else. I mean, the possibilities are literally endless and the flaw is pretty simple. You configure all the MCP servers that you want to use and then you can use a client like Cloud Desktop to start using it right away. It is as easy as that. So as you saw, this is how simple it is to use the bright data MCP server to do web scraping directly within a MCP client, like let's say cursor or maybe Cloud Desktop. And now the even cooler thing is that you can then use the bright data MCP server in combination with other MCP server or even custom MCP servers that you have created. And you can automate a lot of these workflows and do a whole bunch of stuff directly within a MCP client. And now to access the bright data MCP server, all you need to do is to click the first link in the description below, head over to brightdata.com, sign up for a new account, copy the API key and also the code snippet, add it to cloud desktop config file. And there you have it. You have the bright data MCP server set up. And if you want to, you can create custom MCP servers and use it in combination with bright data MCP server to open limitless possibilities. And that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. I hope you guys found this video useful. If yes, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.